don't watch an anime called Boku. Man, oh. this is so wrong in so many mother levels, yo. I was talking to one of my white friends and he sent me three videos with the name only labeled Boku. I said to this dude, what's this sh He just giggled and said, just watch them and make sure nobody is around when you're watching it. Then I thought it was some weird porno or some strange but I watched the first video, I was like, yo, what the f Then I continued and I was like, yo! Then they got in the mother car and then I said, yo! The crap was done back in 2001. So first let me tell about episode 1. We first see a random ass nigga named Pico. People first thought that Pico was female. It turned out he just looked like a girl with effeminate features and a girly ass voice. Ojis in the Pomba Somas makes him wear a girly apron at his cafe. Next thing you know, here comes Tomatsu, a perverted bisexual pedophile. He became fond of Pico. Thinking he was female, he must have been gender blind. Upon discovery, he still carried on. But the other worst part is that Pico is 14. Tomatsu is 22, but he likes minors. It comes to show it eats a whacked up bastard. The next part takes us to the car. And what happens next was wrong and atrocious. They started having sex for 20 minutes. Then had 5 more rounds that led to drama. The talk about the dashboard. The talk about the floor. Seeing all the madness. Seeing all the life. This episode glamorized pedophilia. Masochistic bull crap terrorized us. I couldn't f***ing believe what I just saw. It was like Satan gave me his porno collection. It was so disturbing yet... Yet I couldn't stop watching it! And then the video too, when it was like two of them! Those niggas! Yo, those niggas! And that girl saw them, then she- Yo! Then that nigga took the dog toy, and then yo! It was like your bitch wanted to have sex with you, but she wanted to do something different! And it was so f***ed up and creepy! You just kept watching it, and that's what I f***ing did! Episode 2 took a nasty toe with some spiky headed boy who likes getting new. His name is Chico. It rhymes with the other one. It's ironic but the ex says otherwise. The two bastards start their friendship. Chico takes Pico back to his own house. The horny twat lives with Onizen. His slutty bix is caught whacking her waffle. The boys then sneak up into the attic. Found a box of Onizen's sexual crap. They dressed up as maids then had a dick fight. Onis and Trina play dumb to it all. The messed up part went down like this. They got sucking out of that box they found. You all thought it was just a dog poor toy. Little did we know that it was a dildo. Pico and Chico then done the worst. They had sex and the dildo was still in use. Onis and walk in, in with groceries. Finding out that the boys have done this crap. Chico's just a child around 8, 9 or 10. What the frick is he thinking having sex too young? This episode influenced underage sex. And you wonder why kids are now hacking like adults. And I saw video 3! Three. 3 niggas! 3! It was 3! 3! And, I, and, and Coco was his name, nigga! Coco was his mother name! Oh my god! I ain't going to heaven, niggas! I already sold my soul to Lucifer! So I just wanna tell you all right now, don't watch an anime labeled Boku! Don't do it, nigga! It's like succubus! Remember what I'm saying to you, niggas! Episode 3 was the worst of the worst, and luckily it was the last episode. Pico and Chica comes across a hideout where they meet themselves up with a runaway. His name is Coco even though he looks like a girl. Because of his long ass hair and his face, they all became friends upon first encounter. Then it all just got freaking weird. Logging off each other followed by a nipple play. Not long after did the awkwardness start. Chico getting close to Coco making Pico jealous. This that sissy drama you see all up in them soaps. My nigga, I crap you not. It's the crappy love triangle I wanna destroy. Anyways later on the boys reconciled. But then the unspeakable happened dog. All three plebs went to Tokyo Tower. Reached to the top then the bull crap began. These concubines stripped down and banded up. Then engaged in a threesome like what the frick. That's jacked up even when they switch in positions. Then they ended it with fireworks as if it's okay. This episode spelled out pornography. Screw this game.
Okay, crap, mother truck. I'm done. Screw this anime. Screw the creators. Screw these characters. Screw the plot lines. Screw those genres. Screw the company. Screw every mother trucker that was involved. If you value your life, don't watch this crap. If you watch the crap, then pray for mercy. Dirty, disgraceful, disgusting, despicable. This hentai needs to burn in hell. If you value your life, don't watch this crap. If you watch the crap, then pray for mercy. Dirty, disgraceful, disgusting, despicable. This hentai needs to burn in hell. If you value your life, don't watch this crap. If you watch the crap, then pray for mercy. Dirty, disgraceful, disgusting, despicable. This hentai needs to burn in hell. If you value your life, don't watch this crap. If you watch the crap, then pray for mercy. Dirty, disgraceful, disgusting, despicable. This hentai needs to burn in hell. Boku no Frico, Frico, Boku no Frico, Frico, Boku no Frico, Boku no Frico, Frico, Boku no Frico, Frico, Boku no Frico, Boku no Frico, 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 Frico, Boku no Frico